In this video, we're going to look at the new Ubiquiti UK Ultra, go over the specs, and get it adopted to a unified controller hosted with Hostify. This was the first device that Ubiquiti has launched in its new line of Ultra devices. There are even more devices that were announced this week, videos on those are coming soon. This is the UK Ultra, or to give it its full name, the Swiss Army Knife Ultra. Despite the odd naming scheme, the new Ultra devices are not meant to be Ultra. They are, however, designed to be ultra cost effective and ultra flexible when it comes to mounting, but they will not have the latest high end specs. For example, this AP here costs $89 in the US, but when it was launched in early January, it was priced from $109, but was quickly dropped down to the price you see today of $89. Let's look at some of the headlining specs. The UK Ultra doesn't have support for 82.11 AX or Wi Fi 6 as it's more commonly known. It instead has 82.11 AC Wi Fi 5. It's powered by 82.3 AF PoE, making it seem very comparable to the AC Mesh Access Point, which was launched way back in 2016. The UK Ultra comes with lots of hardware to make it easy to mount and get going. Coming with a click in mount to make it easy to mount the AP on a wall, ceiling, or pole. There are some other accessories coming soon, such as the desk dock which have been revealed but are not yet available to purchase. The AP can also be used indoors or outdoors, and Ubiquiti says it is fully weatherproof with the mount featuring a rubber grommet to protect it. The unit has the ability to be used with its integrated antenna or by using the RP-SMA connectors on the top, which are the exact same as what the AC mesh has. Ubiquiti will be offering the what I like to call bunny ear antenna sometime soon, as well as a clip-on external directional antenna. However, in the meantime, the antennas from the AC mesh seem to work fine, and I imagine what Ubiquiti will sell will be just these. But the main question is, why did Ubiquiti choose to go with 82.11 AC Wi-Fi 5? Many people who are interested in Unify and Wi-Fi have had this question too. It comes back to the other Ultra devices Ubiquiti has launched this week too. The Ultra Switch lineup. Take the $129 USW Ultra for example. It is very cost effective, it has a small footprint, has very flexible mounting options and has PoE out on all ports and is sold without an AC adapter if required for less money. People have pointed out that it only has a 1 gigabit per second uplink but this comes back to where and who the Ultra line is being targeted towards. It is meant to be lower spec, cost effective and still useful. Ubiquiti sent out some marketing emails this week to further explain what they mean. It said at the headline, IT innovation to accelerate the developing world. Now, let's get the AP plugged into our network and adopted to our Hostify Unified Network Controller. So this is the UK Ultra. Typical modern Ubiquiti packaging, sort of brown cardboard, all recyclable, which is quite nice. Got this Swiss Army knife branding on the right hand side. Got some deployment examples on the back. And we've got a pull tab, so no knife needed, which is quite nice. So with this, there's just a pull tab to pull out the entire cardboard unit. And then just a sort of a box clip there. And then all the accessories sort of fall out of the box. And we've got the UK Ultra itself, wrapped in some plastic there. The UK Ultra isn't really that big. It's only 137mm by 84mm by 34mm. So it's quite a small little device. What's quite unique about this AP is it's got a, a clip on the back. So you can mount it on a pole, a wall or ceiling all quite easily with a rubber grommeting built in to run a cable through it. So white light on the AP, indicating it's ready to be adopted into the Unify controller. So what I've got now is the UK Ultra plugged into the Unify switch, and I'm going to use the new Hostify device discovery tool, which is live now on the iOS App Store, to adopt the new device. So I'm going to click on the Hostify app on my iPhone down here, and I'm going to clear the scan, and I'm going to scan again. I can see now that the UK Ultra has now appeared in the Hostify app. So if I click on the device here, I can now click on Adopt, but the first thing I want to do is just double check that we've got the Hostify Unify controller set as the defined URL. So if I click on Settings, you can see here I've got the Inform URL set to my Hostify Unify controller. If you have a Hostify Unify controller or if you have a, another cloud-hosted controller, you can put the Inform URL in this section here, and every time you adopt a new Unify device, it will push itself to the that particular Unify server, which is quite nice. So I'm going to click on the UK Ultra, and then click on Adopt, and then Adopt. And it will say, please wait. And what that's essentially doing behind the scenes is executing an SSH command to the device and just telling it to adopt to the Unify controller. So it says, perfect. Adoption request sent to the host name. Use the Unify network app to complete the adoption process. Okay, so if we jump over to the, the Mac now and we'll just see if it has popped up in the Unify controller. So I'm on the Unify network application now. Just going to look at devices. 
And we can see right here, straight away, the UK Ultra is now pending adoption on the same IP address that we found it on using the Hostify mobile app on the iPhone. So if I click on click to adopt and we'll see how long this takes to adopt. So after a few minutes, the UK Ultra is now adopted to the Hostify Unify controller and it's now saying there's an update available. So it's on currently it's on 6.6.48. If we click on click to update, it says 6.6.55. So we're gonna update that and then come back once that's finished. And you can see here within Unify 8.1.107, there's a new uh, updating animation, which is quite nice. It tells you how long it will take, throughout about three minutes. So after a few minutes, the UK Ultra is now back online within the Unify controller. And let's have a look at some of the settings we have. So let's click on the AP here and look at this column on the right hand side. So it says UK Ultra, IP address, the firmware version, all standard Unify stuff in here, uh, all the output powers for the different radios. We click on settings, this is where it gets a little bit different. So we've got antenna type, so it says specify the antenna type to be used with your AP. So it's a third party and custom ante antennas require the professional installer option to be enabled. So we've got the option of built-in antenna, which is the UK Ultra without any external things connected to it. Omni antenna, those are the two sort of bunny ear antennas I like to call them. Uh, the panel antenna, which is the optional extra that Ubiquiti will be selling at some stage soon. And we have custom, so if you've got a custom antenna, such as an MX sector, you can connect these to that sort of device. Um, you can uh, essentially assign the amount of gain that antenna has got. So I'm going to leave it on built-in antenna for now. Uh, there's still some standard stuff in here, so very much a Unify access point. I've just got the new design of the Unify controller now. So that's pretty much it for the device. So we've got a SSID assigned to this device. So we come to settings. I'm going to make a new SSID because I'm going to do some performance testing in a second. So we're going to call it uh, performance, and then we have the same password, just one through eight. And we're going to say specific APs, uh, UK Ultra. And we're going to manual. I'm going to have five gigahertz only. We'll add that Wi-Fi network. We'll connect our device to it, and then we'll run some speed tests. So just to run over what I've got set up here. So I've got a open speed test server running on my M1 iMac. It's connected via Ethernet gigabit to the network switch, which is also connected to the UK Ultra. And I've got a five gigahertz network setup dedicated to the UK Ultra. And I've got my iPhone 15 Pro connected. And you can see I've got 280 megabits down, just roughly. And we'll just look at the upload speed now as well. So it's about 307 megabits per second up, but it does sort of ramp down downwards to about 350, uh, 250 as well so uh, so average speeds we're seeing on the uk ultra this is just fresh out the box fresh config i've left the channels on auto so just as you would see it basically next i've got the bunny ear antennas they are labeled as the omni antenna in the unified controller so i've now set that uh, not seeing much improvement seeing sort of a similar sort of speed if not a little bit less on the download uh, to be honest it's about 220 on the download and then we'll look at the upload. So the upload's about 300, so a little bit higher on the upload, potentially drop down to about 230, 240 in the end. Next, just to prove that the open speed test server's running correctly, I've got a USB-C to Ethernet adapter for my iPhone, because it is a USB-C device. And you can see we're getting pretty much gigabit speeds um, over over wide, the wide Ethernet, basically. Uh, and then the cable I'm using is all the Ubiquiti cabling, so uh, the cabling from the iMac to the Switch, the uh, cable from the UK Ultra to the Switch, the cable from the iPhone to the Switch as well. It's all the Ubiquiti cable you could buy from Ubiquiti directly. So it's all pre-made, it's all non, non homemade cabling, just to rule that out completely. For more information about Hostify, visit the website hostify.com for Unify, UISP, and TP-Link Amada hosting. For network consulting, we have Hostify Pro. Visit the website hostify.com forward slash pro and hire an expert today. For questions about Unify, UISP, and TP-Link Amada, Drop us a comment and we'll do our best to get back to you. Otherwise, let our support team know at support at hostify.com and they'll be sure to help you out. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.